I like Lady Gaga. I find her to be sexually attractive. Now, initially, that wasn't the case. I uh, I didn't really find her unattractive. I, I I looked at her. You know, I was I was exposed to her uh, mostly through B actually, and uh, a little bit from um, Moo. I call it Moo, motherfuckers. Fuck off. No. No, that was horrible. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, come to move. I see a few pictures of Gaga, people hating on her, met B, a lot of people calling her a man, and then I have a conversation with my sister, and she sends me off to go see the telephone video, which I didn't actually watch first because I forgot by the time I got home, and I saw Bad Romance instead. I thought, holy shit, what did I just watch? This chick's, like, it's sexy. She's got a sweet ass. Um, you know, there's that picture I always post. And, but at the same time, you know, I hadn't, I hadn't been exposed to any kind of pop music for a long time. And in reality, I used to listen to pop music all the time when I was younger. Um... But I guess my friends that I got in high school, you know, they hated this shit. Well, I didn't. I, I can't really guess that. That's pretty much the circumstances. They hated it, and um, so I, I basically had to stop listening to it because anytime I wanted to listen to it, they'd change the channel or they'd like tell me to turn the shit off or they'd get out of the car or whatever bullshit. Um, so it slowly waned, and you know, I'm I'm almost thirty, so we got some time back in the day uh so for a good 10 plus years you know I, I pretty much didn't listen to any kind of pop you know i might have heard it on you know a tv commercial or if i happen to be watching mtv for a few hours at a time or some shit but really there was you know no exposure and then i get this exposure and i'm like holy shit what the hell is this this is awesome but i don't know why it's awesome i, I shouldn't like it but i do so, I don't know what the hell. Anyway. So, like I said, I watched Bad Romance. And, as I said, I, I found it to be pretty hot. Um, <coughs> adjust this here. I don't know if this is actually going to do anything good. <coughs> Sorry. I've been sick for the last, I don't know, 28 years. Anyway. So I'm watching Bad Romance and I can't get it out of my fucking head. It just won't stop. I, I go download the damn song. Because I didn't give a shit at this point. I was just like, this song's fucking awesome. I gotta listen to it. And then I remember, then I get a text message actually. I didn't remember. I got a text, a text message from my sister because I had actually uh, sent her back. And I was like, hey, what are those videos that I need to watch? And so she sends me a text that says, um, telephone and paparazzi. And so I think I watched Paparazzi first. I don't remember. I think it was probably because it wasn't nine and a half minutes long. And, you know, I got a pretty short attention span. And seven minutes, I think, was, was long enough as it was. So I watched Paparazzi, and I'm like, this is fucking wicked. Who is this woman? What the hell? I mean, I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'll go ahead and watch this nine and a half minute video of Telephone. I don't know what the hell I'm in for. She says, you know, to watch the explicit one. I'm like, okay, cool. So I see it, I'm like, well, okay. If she has a penis, she chopped it off. Because even though they blurred it, it's kind of obvious that it, there wasn't a penis there. At least at that particular moment. And uh, I figured, she's got natural tits, so there's no way in hell she's a man. I mean, just no way in hell. I only find out later that she's like five fucking foot tall. I'm like, fuck yes. Sexy short bitches. That's how it works. That's what I love. That's what I like. And then, I don't know. I mean, I guess at that point it was just a transitional thing. And in the end, um, what really sort of concreted my, my fandom to, to Gaga was, was speechless. You know, I know it sounds pussified to say this, but I cried my fucking eyes out when I heard that song. I don't really do that anymore because I've only heard it like a billion fucking times. 
I mean, shit, I can look at my uh, last FM just right now, and overall, how many times have I heard speechless? Well, it says 271 times, and that's only in two months, if that tells you anything. You know, at this point, I don't really know what to talk about, because generally, <clears throat> if anybody ever sees me on Moo, um, it's pretty much in a Gaga thread, or, it's pretty much in a Gaga thread. <laughs> um, granted, I'm not exactly inclined, um, musically, I, I have absolutely no musical skill. I may have the potential to sing, but I've only thought that for, like, all of my life, and so maybe I'm just full of shit. Uh, so... <laughs> Damn it, I lost my train of thought. Uh, something about... Okay, posting in Gaga threads. Um, I'm usually pretty objective when it comes to a lot of stuff. I, I think, for the most part, I use Moo as sort of a source of Gaga. Um, I know I'm still more or less in the obsessive stage of it all. Uh, going to the fucking concert in July is going to kick ass. I'm already... I'm not really prepared for it, because I don't think you can be prepared for something like that. Um, I do try to contribute to other threats, however. Um, but it... Most of the time, I'd have to say I'm usually being a jackass. Because it's fun, and although I'm a trip fag, I, the, the sort of pseudo-anonymity <coughs> that's involved with being a trip fag... Um, sort of allows me to be a little more natural in the, in the way I behave uh, regarding the rest of the people. And, you know, it, most of the time I'm just fucking listening to music and seeing if there's anything I want to actually respond to. And if I do respond to it, it's usually just a spur-of-the-moment thing, and that's it. You know, there's really no true thought process to it all. Um... And it, and it kind of reminds me, actually, of all those fucking questions that she gets. You know, gaga, duh. Um, just in case you were wondering, the one question I fucking hate that every goddamn interviewer seems to have to ask is, where do you get your inspiration? Like, seriously? Have you ever created anything in your life? I mean, I'm not some fucking massive, you know mainstream artist or even an indie fucking artist. I have a few things that I've drawn, usually when I'm on fucking ADD meds. I like them. People who have seen them generally like them. Um, but I don't get my fucking... I, where does the inspiration come from? Hell if I know. I, I'm, I'm at work. I'm twiddling my fucking thumbs and all of a sudden I'm like, I want to draw something. And so I start doodling some bullshit on a piece of paper. And I'm like, hey, I like this concept. Or, you know, maybe I'll think... What would Escher do? Because for whatever reason, his stuff I like. You know, I'm I'm very structural in my art. I you know I don't draw that much uh, because my mind is usually wandering everywhere. And like I said, it usually happens when I'm on ADD meds. Hence why I'm going to the pharmacy tomorrow and getting some more. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Totco bitches. This is Totco Radio. Go fuck yourself, fuckface. Alright, so we have our first suggestion for the day. Kesha. Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't have a whole lot of exposure to her. Um, I've, I, I like TikTok. I, I'm not going to go buy the damn song. I'm not even going to download it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just real. I was looking at the 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 post. I was looking at the thread, and I see Gaga's teeth with his <laughs> with his post with uh, Gaga with the yeah look on her face. It's like this is Todd Co Radio. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, that, that was a little bit of an ego boost there. Um, Kesha. Yes, Kesha. That's who we're talking about. Um, she's kind of hot. Um. I probably wouldn't put my dick in her, though, because I don't know... When she says she was, what was it, born at a party? I'm like, alright, how many STDs were you born with? Seriously. 
And and then like uh, apparently her her bassinet or her crib was uh, was like a fucking guitar case or some shit. I find most of her music obnoxious, uh, and and the majority of it all pretty much sounds the same to me. Now I know there are plenty of people who who you know think that's the same thing about Gaga and you know to each their own of course. I'll I'll go ahead and let you have your opinion. I think you're wrong, but I'll let you have your opinion. If you try to force your opinion upon me. I will fire back. Uh, I may or may not win, but that's not my intent. My intent is to bitch at you as often as possible. Um, I saw her on, what was it? I saw Kesha on George Lopez. I was watching on YouTube, I'm sure. And they talk about that line about brushing your teeth with a bottle of Jack. And fucking Lopez comes out with a bottle of Jack, sticks it on the table in between them. Cracks the ba- I mean, it was just brand new bottle. Cracks it open, brings out two toothbrushes, and he's like, "All right, do it." And I'm thinking, seriously, this is cool. And she just fucking she takes it, sticks it in there, and starts brushing her fucking teeth. And I was like, okay, she may or may not be brilliant, but at least she knows how to be funny. And. Uh, that's about all I can think of right now. <laughs> You're welcome, Teeth, for the Taco Radio thing. All right, so <clears throat> right now I'm I'm sitting at my computer, obviously, and I'm looking at this um, empty wine glass that I've got. It's got a little bit of residue in it, and I, I know this really has nothing to do with no at the moment, but hell. Who knows? I'll refresh the page, and, and maybe somebody has something funny to say, or something stupid to say. Hell, if I, I don't know. Or, or maybe it's another ego boost. I don't care. I, I don't... I drink relatively frequently. Um, mostly beer. Shiner is, is actually my favorite. But yesterday, I, I drank this... Uh, I drank about half a bottle of wine. I was rather shocked that I even pulled this off. It was a red wine, and it's a Pinot Noir. Now, I'd heard Pinot was good, and it still had that sort of bittery, woody taste that, you know, the other wines that I've had, but it didn't taste like alcohol, which I think was the, the significant deterrent... Er, I'm sorry, that's the wrong word. Fuck it. It digressed, if you will, from the other uh the other wines and uh, these other wines were like some stupid shitty label crap that I'd had from other people I've already bought I had bought a Pinot Pinot Grigio once and it tasted like complete shit I mean serious it was disgusting um but the funny thing is, is last night when I was drinking my bottle I was I was on move and I was being my normal jackass self. And, um... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Alright, sorry, I just refreshed it. Kinda hot, lol no. Obnoxious, I agree. Also more rant about uh, Gaga haters or something. I don't know. Damn it, I need more people in this fucking thread. I'm gonna go ahead and post that right now. Damn it. I need more people in this fucking thread. Oops, made a typo. Post. Anyway. So, I was acting like... Out of, what was it? I was being, like I said, my, my normal obnoxious self. And, um... You know, fuck it. I'm just gonna completely divert. And, because I think it has something to do with what I was gonna say. Anyways, Gaga haters. Fucking hate them. I'm gonna go on to that next. After the break, bitches! Okay, I didn't even listen to the last part. I don't fucking care, I guess. Um, Gaga haters. I don't really hate Gaga haters. Um, I, I seriously dislike people who have this concept that they believe they're being objective about her music and her, and her talent, whether they consider her, her, her to have any talent or not, really is of no question. It's their behavior that frustrates me. You know, it's it's all this hate and all this you know this bullshit. I mean, I started the thread earlier today, just and I and I had to make sure I kicked out the Gaga fags because I wanted only people 
who disliked her because I wanted to sort of make a list of all of these bad qualities. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you, the funny thing about it is is that it all seems so very contrived. It, it, it was always like, it was repetitious. You know, there was very little information that was on that list that I compiled that the final product didn't have much more than my initial product of all of the stuff that I put on there. I had already had this thing made up. Um, I'm not going to post it. I'll go ahead and read it off because that makes it more interesting. That makes this more interesting. Poor attempt at being Madonna. Sucks at trying to be Bowie. Share wannabe. Now this one was new. Uh, Klaus Nomi Poser. Uh, pop artist, in quotes. Can't fucking sing, which, you know, apparently a lot of people seem to think so. Hermaphrodite, which, is it still fucking 2008? Seriously? I found out she wasn't a goddamn hermaphrodite after only two months. Illuminati puppet. Fucking vigilant citizen. Seriously? People believe this motherfucker? His website... Okay. When I read it initially, the synopsis he had, uh, or whomever, was a he, she, it, that particular hermaphrodite, whatever, of Bad Romance actually made a lot of sense. But the problem was, then it was all about this satanic and this occult and this Illuminati bullshit all, you know, subsumed within it. You know, it's it's all this mystical, or not mystical, mystery bullshit, you know, hiding in plain sight crap. And I'm like, you know what? Symbolism, some of these symbols have been around for thousands of years, and they still mean the same thing? Come on, get off your fucking stupid ass, retarded horse. I'm on a horse. Fuckface. Uh, anyway, continuing. Whore. Apparently people think she whores herself out. Now, I haven't seen her fuck anybody. I'd rather not. If I'm going to see her fuck anybody, hopefully it's going to be me. Um... Supposedly she's celibate. I don't know. Satanist, Satanist, whatever. Uh, kind of goes back to the Illuminati puppet thing. Steals from good artists, claims it's her own. Uh, four four. People like to use that. And <laughs> the funny thing is, is four four seems to be the most common thing out there. I was simply counting to four when I was listening to "Not Again" by Eminem. Good song, by the way. Uh, too deep for you, harp derp. Uh, attention whore. I don't think so, but whatever. Thinks fashion is worthwhile. Fucking club bullshit noise. Thinks she'll take over the world with her shit music. Now remember, these are not my opinions. I put them in here for the most part, but this was based on previous opinions. Um, all flair, no substance. Contrived material with little variation. Obnoxious goddamn fans. I'll agree to that. She's got a lot of obnoxious, stupid fucking fans, and... Unfortunately, I am, if you will, part of that collective. I'm not one of those obnoxious, stupid fans. I'm intelligent, and I'm not 13 years old. Boring, repetitive, Europop bullshit. She uses hooks to get people interested. So, trying to be edgy. Average piano skills. It's better than me. Better than most fucking people, I'm sure. Sold, soul for, of all things, pop music. That kind of goes back to the whole Illuminati thing, I think, too. Mainstream, oh god, the fucking hipsters. Carbon copy from crap. Hedonist, I'm sorry, let me repeat that. Hedonistic lyrics with no meaning. Unoriginal. That's pretty much the whole list of things, and that's it. That's all these people come up with. It's the same bullshit over and over again. People try to make it sound like their argument is intelligent, but the reality is, it's all the same shit. Over and over and over again. Be original. Please. Please? All right, people, we're back from the break. That was Lady Gaga's I Like It Rough. Now, we're probably going to go ahead and hear another song in the background, perhaps. Um, I don't know which one it will be. It's on shuffle right now. Ah, hey, hey, nothing else I can say. I like this song. I'm going to go ahead and stop this just to see what it sounds like, and I'll probably post it just for the fuck of it. So, have fun with that. Dun, 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 dun. Cherry, cherry, boom, boom. <clears throat> I don't know. Okay, now I'm distracted. What the hell? I want to listen to the fucking song, but I don't want to actually talk. See, this is what's frustrating about fucking ADD. 
Uh, everybody says ADB people can fucking multitask. Now, yeah, I can hear this in the background, but it's too loud. I gotta turn it down a little bit. Um, we get fucking distracted too easily. Now, the cool thing is, is when I'm fucking editing, you know, people's videos and shit, it's, I don't know if it's ADD or if it's just my natural ability to whatever, but I seem to be able to hear and see whether or not stuff is synchronized. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually post right now, although I know I've posted almost three times in a row now. Um, I'm yammering, oops, yammering, suggestions? It's the future, baby! And hey, there's nothing else I can say, hey, hey, my singing voice sucks, I know, hey. Hey, I should never fuck me in the ass that way. Wait, no, no, no! <laughs> I'm shitting you. Um, who was that person? I number one zero three three five four nine eight. I am not sexually confused. I am just constantly confused, always. But not about my sex. I'm a male, and I enjoy inserting my penises. Oops. <laughs> no, I don't have more than one. Um, I enjoy inserting my penis into women. Motherfucker! I don't care if this is like a radio show. I, I can't think of shit sometimes, you bastard. Uh, whatever. I'll just... There... Hey, you never looked at me that way. Hey. I suck at singing, I know. Fuck off. I don't care. I'm gonna go ahead and post this as it is, because I'm just being a dumbass. Hey, she said cherry, cherry, boom, boom. I was way off. I know, I know. I'm not stupid. I actually like that. You know what? I'm not gonna sign off yet. Um, I didn't really like that song that much when I first heard it. I didn't dislike it. It just never really kind of grew on me. And I kept hearing it over and over again, and it still took a little while, and... But then I saw the video a few times, and I realized that when she's saying AA during, uh, was it the fucking chorus or refrain? Well, I don't fucking care. I don't, I don't give a damn about the, the specifics of shit. Um, when she's saying AA in the music video, the majority of the time, it's like somebody else saying, AA, baby, you know, they, they got that Italian thing going on with the hands going way out and doing the little shrug. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck's going on, baby, but I don't care. AA, bitches. Now I'm going to go ahead and post this while I listen to Vanity and you guys, whoever is out there listening to me, listens to me. So have fun with that. It's my body line. Let's dance quick round. We're in the Vanity House. We'll cover the streets, diamonds, where we are. Oh, whatever. I don't fucking care. I suck at trying to sing and record and read and masturbate all at the same time. It's fucking annoying to try to do all that shit at the same time. Have you ever tried doing... Okay, I don't know what I was about to say. Have you ever tried jerking it and listening to music at the same time? Sometimes it's pretty frustrating. Um... Hold on a second, I'm gonna read this comic aloud. Uh, this is some, it's, just, it's called Least I Could Do. It's fucking great. John. Not a successful night at the bar? I'm not an Indian... Not an Indian girl in sight. Well, technically there was, I guess. Technically? I'm sorry, you're just not what I'm looking for right now. But no, Pocahontas. No, squirt, squirt, squirt. <laughs> I squirt over the bottle of fucking water. Oh, that's horrible. All right. You'd have to just go to leasticouldo.com. No! They're not paying me for anything because this shit's free! Whatever! I don't give a shit. Damn. You know what song... I, I was talking earlier about, um... AA and how it didn't really... It took a while to grow on me. The one song that I find was somewhat of an anomaly in regards to all this was Paper Gangsta. When I first heard it, I was like, meh, I can deal without it. 
I mean, I listened to it because I was still shuffling the whole album, you know. And I don't know how many people know this uh, about my my sort of description, my descriptive of the fame and the fame monster. Yeah, we're going back to Gaga. Oh crap! He's so single-minded. It's just so frustrating. Um, I don't fucking care. People are listening to me. There may only be two people, but they're listening to me. I don't give a shit. Um, the fame. As I've said in the past, is like um, a, sh- a book of short stories. Each song has its own little uh, story, and and that's it. They they don't pertain to each other. Um, they all may, mm, for the most part, are in the within the same genre. Uh, but that's it. They've got their own theme individually. <clears throat> Whereas the Fame Monster is more like. Uh, a short novel and you know the way I read books and the way I watch movies and, and, and listen to music and watch music music videos and whatnot I never have the same experience twice ever it doesn't matter if I've heard the same song 400 times it's never the same experience ever again you know either there's a nuance within the song that I didn't hear before or there's um, a part of the lyric that maybe I didn't understand or it's more clear or it's more vague whether it's uh, sonically speaking or um, <clears throat> otherwise interpreted and so hold on I bet that sounded wonderful so for me every time I hear a song no matter how similar it is to the previous listen it's never the same All right now I'm listening to Starstruck that track Groove slam, work it back, built to that, baby bump that track. Groove slam, work it back, built to that, baby bump that track. Anyway, this song always gets me moving, but it's never in the same way. You know, my right shoulder might go up a little bit, or my left shoulder might go up a little bit, or I might start dipping it down a little bit, or I don't know. And, you know, I think that's the thing about music that makes makes it wonderful for me, is that... I get to experience this new phenomena every fucking time. Every fucking time. You know, and I'm, now I've gotten into rap and some other stuff. I mean, not a whole lot of rap. I'm listening mostly to Eminem, but, you know, there's a lot of stuff I've heard before in the past that I sort of just swept under the, uh, the, the rug, and it's kind of it's kind of disheartening to, to know that I sort of sacrificed my musical roots for friendship. Just Dance is on. I'm going to stop and post this. Okay, we finally got a few suggestions. Um, the LP... LP3 being delayed. Um, I'm, I'm not happy about that, I'm going to be honest. And, um, but at the same time, it's somewhat bittersweet, I guess. I, I like the Fame Monster, I like the songs from it. But, you know, being having been only a fan for two months and, and having both of those albums available to me at the same moment, I've pretty much run them into the ground. And that's probably why I'm going and, you know, I'm trying to, you know, seek out other musical um, sort of inspirations. And, you know, I, I, that's not, I don't think it's a bad thing, necessarily. It's pretty much how I do anything. I, I run everything in the ground, you know, friendships and stuff. And, and really what it is, it's, it's sort of a test of endurance. It's to see if, and I'll get back on, I'll get onto the LP part, don't worry. Um, it's more or less a test to see if it can, if I or the object of attention can withstand my sort of overwhelming behavior. Um, lost a friendship because, no, they couldn't do it. Um, <clears throat> but getting back, and, and you know, and, and we're getting back to the LP thing here soon, um, but because I've run those songs into the ground, I, I kind of want something new. And, you know, I'm sure I'm like many fans, and when she said that she wanted to go about, um, let me turn it down just a little bit. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it's kind of distracting me a little bit. Um, the way she talked to Larry about how she wants to, you know, wants her fans to see her and whatnot. I understand that she loves her fans. Hell, 
I would love to be in her situation. I have considered many times when listening to a, a you know a beautiful classical piece or something, you know, pretending like I'm the person on the stage, creating this you know euphoric emotional experience that I'm having. But instead of it being in me while I'm playing it, I'm giving it to everybody out there. And then not only. Am I giving it to just individuals? This is a huge mass of people. It doesn't matter if it's uh, 400 people or if it's 1,000 people or if it's 20,000 people. I'm not naturally a performer. Like I said earlier, I really have no musical skills. But if I were able to do that, I can, I can empathize with this woman. I bet she feels fucking elated every single night she's having a concert. And that's probably why she keeps fucking doing it and why she's working her own ass into the ground. You know, she's probably going to kill herself doing this shit. Hopefully she's not dead by 30. This is some fucking weird ass, I don't know, concept that came to me um, not too long ago. And, and it won't go away. I, I'm not a prophet. Um, I thought in a way, though, it was a little transparent. That the album is supposedly finished. And it's supposed to be, as she stated, this you know sort of iconic... This is what everybody is going to know Gaga for. You know, I mean, we just fucking watched Alejandro. If people don't already know who fucking Gaga is, what in the fuck is going to be on that thing? Seriously. You know, she talks about how, I think, what was it? Um, it's inspired by her fans and sort of the sort of the religious or spiritual undertaking that she had. Um, this rev personal revel revelation that comes about. And <clears throat> it sounds like it's going to be beyond beautiful and I want it and I know the best way to get anything sold is to make people want the fuck out of it and that's I think what frustrates me the most is not only do I understand the sort of business aspect of it but I'm on the other end of that fucking shit and so now I've got this, you know, sort of dissenting, uh, you know, uh, rock hard place, you know, middle bullshit going on. I'm like, I understand what she said, but I want my fucking CD. I want to hear this supposedly beautiful album. And God damn it, I want it now. But I know I can't have it. Oh well. And your brown eyes. <laughs> oh shit, yes. I knew I was gonna get a response like that. Thank you for <laughs> fucking cat. Oh shit. <laughs> oh man. Future Love is now playing right now. And um I saw this on YouTube and I fucking love this song. It's it may very well be my favorite Gaga song um, because it's vulgar and astronomical in a very literal sense and, and I, I, I love astronomy I've, I've, I like weather and shit too but um, it's I don't know it's strange I actually tried singing to this song one day and I totally fucked it up it's pretty throaty in the uh, in in the chorus. Um, I think I could probably pull it off if. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. I keep looking at this fucking thread. <laughs> I, <laughs> I have to poop. <laughs> BRB. <laughs> and then the fucking reaction pics. They're just great. I love this shit. I, I still need an answer from that person. I, it probably could happen at some point in time or another, but. Um, Anyway, when, when she when she was talking about it in in, in the uh, in the video uh, when she debuted it, she talks about how she says she um, is somewhat schizophrenic, or is perhaps schizophrenic about love <clears throat> regarding interviews, because she says that you know at certain times she's not so much in love she says she's been in love a hundred times or whatever and then she says she's never been in love at all um, so 
You know what? I'm going to pause and I'm going to send this. I have to check on something. Okay, anyway. Um, I, I, it, well, I was actually trying to record just now and I accidentally clicked the list and, and I didn't realize how much I was fucking laughing and acting like a dumbass. Um, <clears throat> but I'm a dumbass, so, you know. Hey, I'm fucking willing to admit it. I'm bored, by the way, so just because I act like a, an idiot now and maybe I act a little too uh, perhaps overzealous about Gaga and whatnot, it, it's mostly because right now um, I'm bored. I've got very little stimulation. This thing, it, you know, somehow has sort of popped a little, not really erupted. I mean, it's just kind of leaking out of a hole that, you know, didn't know it existed in the first place. It's like a pathetic little volcano. It's not really doing anything. It's just oozing lava at the moment. And this sort of analogy slash metaphor, whatever, is this whole voice bullshit supposed podcast people think I should be doing. Um, <laughs> still, <laughs> those fucking reaction pictures are great. Um, I <laughs> also more uh, Beyonce personal song favorites unreleased tracks whatever. Well, okay, the unreleased track fucking Future Love personal song Future Love. Um, I gotta admit though, Electric Kiss is by far one of the best songs I've ever heard of hers. Um. And, and the only time I ever hear it is, it, it sounds like it's the audio from the NYU performance. And watching that performance, I was amazed at her energy and, you know, and, and, and what it has now translated to. Um, the, the thing that frustrates me about it, uh, this whole thing and, and the haters, you know, having previously talked about them, is that... Um, They talk about how, apparently, since she became famous, she just decided to, to sort of throw on this persona. And in the beginning, I kind of thought this the, the whole Gaga thing was a persona and that, you know, she was separating herself from Stephanie. But having, you know, looked into it a little bit more and looking at more interviews and stuff, and, you know... <clears throat> I know I sound like I'm sort of trying to validate my own behavior, and, and this seems defensive, I suppose. I'm not really that, you know, obnoxious, obsessive fan. Um, yes, I want my fucking CD because I like what I'm hearing and I want more. Um, I'm smart about what I do, and my behavior is for me, normal, and how I run shit into the ground, and research into something that I'm interested in, it, 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 it consumes me, you know, a couple years ago, I got into, I got heavily into meteorology, and it was raining like fucking cats and dogs, I, every guy, I mean, we had record rainfalls and record low temperatures for June here in DFW, and it was insane. I mean, it pretty much rained every single day in June. Now, I had already had an interest in meteorology, but I I guess because it sort of sparked this interest, I went to the store and I bought a couple of books, and because I basically sit on my ass and do nothing all day at work, um, I, I sat here and read these books, and I got, I just enveloped myself in it. And that's what I do with something that is interesting to me. If it wasn't interesting, I wouldn't fucking, I wouldn't give a shit. You could, you know, write this huge, beautiful little story about it, and I'd start reading it, and I'd be like, you know what, I'm bored. I want to go, you know, stick something into something. I don't know, fuck. Um, but, so, what my behavior may appear to be obsessive is, in fact, simply uh, an all-consuming... Uh, desire for knowledge, because once I get enough knowledge, it becomes sufficient and then becomes part of my life. And for the most part, that's what Gaga is. But the weird thing is, is that I've never had this kind of sort of 
I don't know what use, word to use to this. I'm just going to go ahead and say relationship with an artist. You know, the closest thing that had ever happened was when I was about maybe 14 or 15. And Mariah Carey's uh, Daydream album came out. And I got that for Christmas. Um, and I loved it. I played the hell out of that thing. I'm not going to I'm not gonna deny this shit. I still like some of the songs. I don't like them as much as I used to. But if I had the same resources then as I do now, and the same... Uh, sort of behavioral, analytical, intellectual uh, sort of concept that goes on, I'm sure it would be the same thing. It would be some sort of perceived obsession towards this woman. I like female vocalists anyway. You know, maybe there's a sexiness to it. I don't fucking know. And... <clears throat> so, yes, maybe, like I said, I... I to others, I know I'm going to seem like um, some obsessive, fucked up freak of a fan, but I'm looking at all of this in a very intellectual way. I analyze my... I mean, the other day I was like, why in the hell do I even have this relationship with this woman? It, this doesn't make any fucking sense. When I had heard, you know, the whole lupus bullshit, I fucking got depressed. And it didn't make sense to me, so I started asking myself, why, 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 why? It took me like four days to fucking figure it out. And, and basically, all it was is that it's not really her, so to speak. It's, it's the aftermath of exposure. I have been exposed to something. It's like an ingredient in a cake. Let's say eggs, for instance. You need, for the most part, you need eggs to make a cake. Well, it's like I was making a cake already. I already had all sorts of crazy stuff that was, you know, kind of getting better in my life. I mean, it, there was a transitional point with her around, and my life got a lot better. I'm not going to lie. Um, I was in a shitty position in March, and April rolled around. She joined in, and it all just kind of fell into place, and it, it felt so much better. And it, like, what I was, what I was going at is, it was like she was the eggs. To my cake. I already had all the other ingredients going. But once I got the eggs in there, the cake fucking worked, and now I could eat it, enjoy it. And and maybe what I did was is I put too much focus on the eggs because they were just that final ingredient, that, that magical thing. And so I started trying to quote unquote make other things with the eggs, and it kind of fucked up. And and so I think what it was was simply just a perception of my relationship or lack thereof. I'm going to answer the Alejandro thing next. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and respond to the Alejandro thing. Uh, I'm thinking about Beyonce, but I don't really know what to say about her otherwise. And since Alejandro is so recent. When I first saw it, I was like, what the hell did I just watch? And I have to watch this again. I mean, I already understood, you know, some of the, the basic principles. In a way, I was somewhat disappointed. Because there was so much hype to it. And I think the hype... It's not that the hype was too much. I think it was misdirected. I think the teaser threw us in the wrong direction. That's my opinion. My opinion doesn't mean shit. Except to me and anybody who else who agrees. Um, and even then, they don't necessarily, you know, agree to everything. Um, but here's the weird thing, and, and I know it's only been almost two whole days since it came out. Um, but every single time I watch it, you know, I already said this about all this stuff, but I feel more and more and more somewhat involved in this whole thing. You know, I'm starting to analyze it, starting to look for things. You know what I haven't noticed? Um, and while I'm at it, I don't know for a fact, so I might as well look it up on the computer. Yes, I've got... Um, two of her signature items that are usually in the music videos weren't visible that I could tell. Now, they might be there, but I don't think so. One of them are the, uh, understanding one of them, and 
Big Mama Dog was the Bad Romance and Telephone and got killed her from all the reason. Um, I'm looking at Bad Romance right now. Every this woman has put out, don't think Ollie Hunt. Alright, so essentially the thread is going to die. I mean, Teeth is going to bed. I don't even know if he's going to listen to that last one I posted. Um, but I'll go ahead and make another one tomorrow. I'm sure at some point I'll, uh, I'll have an opinion about something and I want to rant. This ranting's fun. I actually talk to myself all the time at work anyway, so why not fucking record it? Give it to other people who might like it. I don't know. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this, because it was fun when I first did it. You've been listening to Totco Radio. Go fuck yourself, fuckface. You've been listening to Totco Radio. Go fuck yourself, fuckface.